Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I've got a tricky rack. There's no bingo here. And quite a few non bingo -y tiles, in particular the J and the V. I can sort it out to some extent with Hadji for 40 and RV not too bad together. Great, I have Strives, Verists and Trevis and Stivers. So hopefully one of those will play. Hadji does take an S. Now what about the double-double lane in column 5 through the A? Well, the A looks like it goes well with this rack. But I'm not seeing a bingo. Strives plays in column 9 and also rows G and I. But all of those could be, could be blocked. But I think it'll be difficult to block it and not provide an alternative placement. Great, stays available. So what's best and has my opponent provided anything new? Well, he has because Swan takes an S. Well, I don't want to place Strives placing the S in row A. And although column 9 isn't doubling Strives, the points in Hadji makes makes up for that and in any event I'm going to play Verists and I think this is the best placement because it prevents access to to column 8 and doesn't open up the bottom right of the board 79 points wow look at that I draw the first blank and I could well have a bingo here. Always good fun when you can get back-to-back -back bingos. So, through an A, I would have natently. And also through an N. Neither available. More floaters to consider. I've got the LY ending. So I need to keep that in mind. I have Natalie on my rack. What does one take in front? I think it's just an H and an S. So nowhere for Natalie. Floating E's, often a rarity, but I've got two on this board. So I think I'll run through the alphabet, imagining an E on my rack as well. And hopefully something might, might pop up. Nettably, tentably, I don't think so. Okay, so the blank is an E. What are the vowel, the consonants on the board? Not seeing anything through them. I wouldn't want to miss a bingo. However, I never want to miss a bingo. And I'm still imagining an E on my rack. Gosh, that looks promising. That is the Natalie rack. Seventeen minutes on my clock. So what about latently? Fantastic. Latently is good. And there's a really nice spot for it which is here, because I think the Y gets doubled. So latently for 80. And I think the bingo run comes to an end. But the tiles I have do have some synergy. Four E's, slightly too many, but I can easily play off two of them. So a play of Meek, for example, would help to sort the rack out. Now, what about a play in row H? I could play Clem, Q, 
keeping K triple E, not a disaster. And 33 points. I can't play in column 15, LE not good, ELA not good. However, what about melee? 34 points, which is good. I'm preventing a high scoring play in row H. And the rack leaves pretty good. I'm going with this. I've got a 150 point lead. And this, this rack is fairly balanced. 24 points for my opponent, and not very many. But I don't I don't think there's a bingo here. Floating V and E on the board. Now I do have an an A for going after the L. But I don't have a tile for going after max. Do I have a double double in a column five? Can't see one. So what about something like this? Q's for 20, an okay score, a pretty good rack leave. And more importantly, I'm not really opening anything up. Still one S and one blank to come. So column two is a bingo lane for a seven letter bingo ending S, but any such bingo is going to open up scoring opportunities and the floating E and R. So there are bingo lanes on this board, but it's not a super open board and I don't wish to open it further. Not good. Through an N, through an M, I would have O came, our recame. Wow, nice bingo by my opponent. Radiates taken, takes an E in front. I'm now only 90 points ahead. So what to do here? Tempting to play something like crew, opening up two opportunities, one of which I can take. Let me just see what this scores. 29 points, quite nice. He radiates, takes an R in front. I'm opening up two opportunities. I'm burning five tiles. Both blanks have gone. But only 29 points. That's quite a volatile move, which I don't need to make. What about a play in column 15? I could play AW. 26 points, similar score. Not a great rack leave. Just looking to see if I've got something in row I. Can't see anything good. So what about playing crew here? 41 points is a much bigger score. It is only providing one opportunity, which is column one, but I'm covering the double letter square, so not as dangerous as it might otherwise be. A pretty horrible rack leave, especially with seven O's out there. But 41 points, it's two thirds of a bingo. I'm going with this. Wow, I dodge all seven O's. So although I've got five vowels, I'm quite pleased to have dodged all the O's. And these vowels, although they look horrendous, there is a way of playing through them. A doi is good and oidia. Just wondering if anything works in column 15, because both my C and D can get next to la. And I've got the I for, for making maxi. So yes, I have Odic. Wow, 41 points. Good response from my opponent. Let me see what Odic scores. 52 points, which is huge. 
and I'm burning the O, which is good. Rack leave obviously pretty grim, but 52 points is excellent. Great. Again, I have five vowels, but it could have been worse. I have Koremia down from the C. And this board is fairly tight. I'm, I'm 140 points up. And really, it's, there's just this floating C, R, and D, J, I for bingo lanes. And my opponent has killed the bingo lane coming down from the C. 32 points is a good score. But he's still 100 points behind. So what can I do with this rack? I'm just looking to see if I've got a play with the M tripled through the V. And I don't think I have. Although that looks close. What about a play underneath Hadji's? I thought for a moment I had Moria. I'm a lo actually a long way off from having that since Aho and Nara are not good. I've got Moa. Let me, let me see what this scores. 24 points. Not great. And it is providing a nice spot for the Y and the F. It's only turning over three tiles. Ten minutes on my clock. Let me have a have a think. Paw takes an S in front. All the S's and blanks have gone. So there's no danger there. Top left triple word square unavailable. The R is a useful floater. Just checking that I haven't got a bingo and I, I don't think I do. I'm thinking about playing through the V, but I can't see a way of doing that without opening up a, a good scoring spot at this triple word square. I've got Armoire, which scores almost nothing. It's a tight board and I'm reluctant to open it. So, why don't I play Zoa? And aim is a quite a nice rat cleave. And I, I am keen to burn my O, since there are still five to come. Anything over 20 points I think is pretty good at this stage. With this rat and this board. And Zoa is providing nothing. Great, I dodge all of the O's. Quite a, a nice balanced rack. No more U's to come. Can't see a bingo here, but I do have Mary Hoare through an A. No A's available. Great, only 22 points for my opponent. I'm quite happy to trade 20 point plays with him for, until the end of the game. Still 18 tiles in the bag. Now my H and M can go underneath the O, and, and this is why I was reluctant to play a vowel underneath this D. This becomes quite a hot spot, so I have now got a good 30-point play. I think so. So HE or ME play. So I could play MEU. Let me see what that looks like. 33 points, keeping hair, four eyes to come. Can I do better than that? Let me just check what J-O takes. It takes an R and an E. Nag takes an A. So do I have any... Well, I, I have Haim. Let me see what this scores. 42 points. Wow. And it's not providing a bingo lane because Haim only takes an S in front and Joe only takes an S and a Y after it and not many bingos begin with Y. Rackley 
pretty horrendous, but 42 points. Can I do even better than this? Well, I think I'll, I'll go with this, and I could could have a pretty horrendous rack to deal with, but I think my lead will be sufficient to handle that. And it's actually quite a good pickup. No duplicates. Scoring tiles in the P and the V. I've got the over prefix, but I can't see an eight-letter bingo with this rack, regardless of floater. Naga only takes an S after it, so Haim hasn't, hasn't really opened up anything great. Haim takes a D and an S after it, but all of those have gone. So I'm now 150 points ahead, 14 tiles in the bag, but I'm in a, a pretty good position. Very few opportunities on this board, and not just bingo opportunities, but any opportunities. All of the tiles are in the top two-thirds of the board. And if my opponent opens the board up by playing down from the H, there should be some a, a good parallel play available. I haven't seen anywhere to play. Great, opponent does do that, just the 20 points. So what, what do I have? No S's or blanks to worry about, so I can play. I, I can consider four-letter plays. So I could play poor. Let me just see what this scores. 25 points, which is fine. It's killing all of the floaters. Poor only takes an S after it. So yeah, don't think much of a danger here. The other V has been played. VIE have some synergy. I could end up with five I's, but... I think I can survive even that. Okay, not bad. Remaining tiles quite bingo-y, but very few bingo lanes on this board. Pretty much just coming down from the R of slur. The Joey hook's still available. Gut provides nothing, so that's fine. I have livening onto a G. Nothing with with the R. So what to do? Well, this board is is super tight. I'm pleased because I'm ahead, but it does mean that I'm struggling to see any candidate plays. Now I think. Cruel is good, so I could play Evil for 26. Pretty good score. This E, not especially dangerous. The Rack Leave is horrendous, given that there are three I's and an N. So I suspect I can do better than that. Five minutes on my clock. Vil, not good, and I haven't got to play with the, with the K. I don't have to play off the V, but I'm considering playing it simply to increase the score. But just nothing available on this board. So if the if R is the only floater, why don't I play through it? So I could play Virile. How many tiles left? Six. So this is going to leave one in the bag. Only nine points. It's keeping duplicate N. But that's okay. There's only one more N to come, and the Ns go quite nicely with any vowels. And I am killing a bingo lane. I am creating a new one for a bingo's ending in E. But I can survive that. Great. I do draw eyes, but... As you can see, the ends help. I can't see a seven with this rack. There, I suspect there could be some eights. 
no two letter sets to consider. My opponent's got seven of these eight tiles. The Joey hook's still available. Just looking around for any bingo lanes or floaters, and I think it's just row K ending in E, close to intonate. I wouldn't want to to miss a bingo with such high pr probability tiles, but I don't think there's one there. I've got the anti-prefix. Great, only 20 points, no new floaters to consider. I can see what my opponent's got. He's got FIO. Can he go out? Yes, he's got Figo. Anywhere else for FIO? I can't see anywhere else. So I need to block Figo. Tricky. To, I can't play underneath it because nothing goes under the R that I've got. So quite a nice play by my opponent. Can I stop one square short of of the R so that, so that I've got a play going underneath the G and the Y. So an IO or IA word. Not that I can see. Okay, slightly tricky end to the game. Two minutes on my clock. Just looking to see if there is somewhere else for my opponent to go out. So I don't have to agonise over this, this gyrene play. Info through an N. This N doesn't work. Okay, so I can't see anywhere. Wow, I can't put my N out in the open because of info and foin. I certainly do want to go, go out in two. The game is won, but it's still important, I think, to try and make the optimal play. So what about ingot? Keeping A-I-N. So I've got rain. I've got anti. Do I have another another spot for AIN? Gosh, it just shows how tight this board is. I have nain. So I think it's difficult for my opponent to block name nain and anti, so I'll go with this. Great, I provided a spot for info, so that's pretty dumb. One minute on my clock. Fifty seconds to go. Wow. I'm going to struggle to go out in two and block and block this play. Well, let's see if my opponent spots a ingot for eight. I think if he doesn't spot info, I definitely go out, but I think he will spot it. And I just ran out of time to find something better. He's got 14 minutes on his clock, which may explain why my time has run down so much. Just looking around to see if there's anywhere else for his, for his uh, outplay.
So if my opponent doesn't go out, where's the best place for me? Nain scores eight. Ante scores less. Rain scores eight. Great. My opponent doesn't spot. Oh, let me get this down quick. Nearly ran over time there. So, the final score, 317 to my opponent, 463 to me, a winning margin of 146 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. It was me to go first. I had, wow, look at that. I played Hadji, but G had also available for eight more points, and that would have been a, a better play for that reason. So, a mistake right from the off. Opponent's rack. He plays one, one. And Stivers, a two. Yeah, well, that's opening up row A. I didn't fancy that. So, I do Veris for 79. Just two fewer points, but a, a much safer play. Not a nice rack for my opponent. He plays Nibbled. And now... These are the bingos I struggled to see. I eventually found latently, but patently, perhaps um, a more commonplace word available, intactly. And those were the bingos. There appear to be more than there were, just because of the alternative uses of the blank. Anyway, most of those bing most of those top four bingos are much of a muchness. What did I do? Yeah, I played one of the 80-point ones, so that's fine. Opponent's got S's and X's, but a vowel shortage. He plays Lax. Now I have Melee for, for 34, which was quite a nice rack in terms of sorting sorting the rack out and scoring well. Opponent has Rudists. Wow, I'm not sure I would have been confident of that. And Sturdies. But it, it doesn't look, didn't look like a bingo rack. Sturdy's was through the E. Opponent plays slur. Now, I think this is where I played Q. Q's. A 20. 29 available for Corker. And I think that would have been better. <laughs> better score. Quite a nice rack leave. And this is a great rack for my opponent. And he has radiates. And then I have crew for 41 points, which was a, a good comeback. I'd have been in trouble if my opponent had a triple-triple, but they don't happen very often. And you shouldn't make too many sacrifices to avoid creating them. The opponent plays Quop. And now I have Odic for 52, which was pretty fantastic. Acid available for two fewer points. Possibly worth considering. Definitely not worth considering given the, the O's. However, it does split up the duplicate A. So it may be worth considering a bit, but I think Odig was better. Opponent plays Res. I4. So Amia, I think that was the type of play I may have been looking for. 31 points. And I didn't find Amia and went with Zoa. The opponent plays Goo. And that's great because I have Haim. But the same tiles would have given me more for Ahem. Okay. And Hermai also available. But they're all in the same ballpark. The opponent has Gratify. Nowhere for it. Plays Haft. And now, out via through the T, but that's opening up two bingo lanes. I don't want to do that. So I'm quite happy with poor. Kills kills bingo lanes, provides nothing. And my opponent's got nowhere to go now. Plays gut. And I thought about evil. Making Cruel for 26. Didn't like the rack leave in conjunction with the bag. But even without the bag, the rack leave's pretty bad. 
So I play Virile to kill the solitary bingo lane. And my opponent would have had re-frying. Wow. So you never know when you're playing and you're killing bingo lanes if you're stopping your opponent from bingoing. But Viral stopped refrying and ferrying. So delighted with that. He plays Gyrene for 20 and this is where I wasted four minutes of time trying to find something good. Utterly failing. J14 anoint yeah it would have provided foin so it wouldn't have stopped an out in two it wouldn't have stopped my opponent from going out i played ingot opponent did just have the solitary out through the end he didn't see it he played foy and finally very short on time i played nain for for eight i could have got one more point for domain through through the dom so Pretty exciting stuff. Board got, got super tight, but that was fine since I was ahead at the time. And it was a case of seeing the game out and being being mindful of of bingo lanes. Even when there are very few of them, in this case one, it would have been easy to to maybe have ignored that one given the, the size of my lead and played something like Evil or played elsewhere. But Viral, although it scored only nine points, prevented my opponent from... from, from getting an 80 or 90 point bingo and in fact refrying would have got the wide double so possibly even 100 points so the game helped illustrate the importance of blocking the only remaining floater on occasions even when you're miles ahead so i hope you enjoyed watching that and i will see you next time